Hello? Hello? Hey, sorry I was late. Thanks for joining me though. Um, hi, hi. Hey, thanks, thanks for watching. Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna go inside because it's freezing, but it's pretty, right? Like nice and white. And then, you, and then you can see footprints like in the snow. So you know if somebody's invading your house or like, you know, it's like a baby deer or something. But that first time ever on this channel, you guys, I said, um, and I want to give you guys a second house tour because I know the, the first house tour, um, the place was really empty. There's nothing here. So this is the second one. So right now the house is, is this going to, it's as finished as it's going to be because I don't have a lot of stuff. So I'll show you guys what I have so far. And uh, this is the front porch right here. And this is the first thing I love. This hammock here. Love the hammock. Okay, let's, uh, it's a little messy, so, all right. Hello, anybody home? I always do that. If I hear yes, I run out of here. All right. Okay, all right. So we're in the house. <clears throat> all right, this is like, this is like a very impromptu house tours so let me flip this oh i can't flip it oh wow so cold is anybody else's uh city or your home is just freezing new york's like i'm living in a freezer right now okay so let me show you guys around um I don't know if you guys remember the first time, uh, there's really zero things here. Uh, and now, I'm, okay, it is kind of a mess, but okay. So I, I, I put up, I put up like, like water paintings, like Chinese water paintings because this is why, and this is kind of crazy. So this house is like, it's 30 years old. So not that old, but still kind of old. And the people who lived here, they, they were like smokers, like heavy smokers. Let me turn on this light here. So they're like heavy smokers. And um, and you see like, you see how the wood is different colors because this is just all smoke. And this is what the wood used to look like. So I had to buy a couple of pieces of uh, art pieces because you see that? I had to cover up the smoke imprint. So, I mean, these are pretty, but this used to be like, as you can see, that used to be like a, like a huge clock. All right. So that's the first thing I did differently. Um, kitchen, really nothing furnished there. Um, this is a table. It's a little messy. I put up like, like a cool cherry blossom, New York theme jiggy over there, art piece. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me show you. Oh, my arm's actually getting tired. I, I, I just came back. If I look weird, that's because I still have some makeup on. <sighs> because I just, I just got done taking photos for, uh, for a line of cookware that, that, I'm, that I'm putting out. And I've been holding walks all day. All right. So this is, uh, that is awesome. I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces um, because I love Hong Kong so much. Um, this is a map of all the places I've been to so far in the world. I never understood with these scratch off maps, whether, you know, like, I mean, I've been to Canada, right? But I mean, I'm not going to the Northwest territory. So do I get to scratch that off? Uh, because I only been to Vancouver, Edmonton and in Toronto. So I don't know. I don't know how that works here. All right. This got me through a lot of tough times. I, I got a samurai sword because. I'll tell you why. So when I first moved to this house, if you guys saw my first video, the place was kind of creepy. And uh, like as soon as I walked in, the front door was open and that's really unnerving. Um, and I had really nothing here to defend myself except for like maybe a camera tripod. So I got a sword. I mean, am I really going to fight somebody with a sword? No, but it's just nice having a sword. Just saying. Okay. So let's continue. Um... But this is like the biggest improvement, I guess. So I got a, I got a nice 
couch, sofa, and then this. This I really like. This recliner. Oh, this is my favorite thing. You gotta sit back and relax. And it's nice. You can sleep here. Okay, and then uh, I got a TV that I maybe watched movies twice on. Um, I got a PlayStation, which I played four times total. Uh, and the living room, so that the pool table was left for me here. Um, I, got a, I got a virtual reality thing because it, it is just freaking awesome. Like, I, I love it. It's my favorite thing. Uh, Google Earth is, is beautiful. So I play sometimes on that. But I only use that like three times as well. Uh, there's a couch here as well. A couple of lamps, a couple of tables. And this is, like, this is like my favorite thing, this fireplace. This is my favorite thing in the house. I love just like, you know, just lighting a fire. Something about just being able to have a fire in a house is just so soothing and comfy. Um, I got a little rug because sometimes I like to work right by this window. And you can see that firewood out there that I dragged from the woods. Like, I feel like a lumberjack. I literally have to go to the woods and, like, you know, find wood. Okay. So that's that. Um, so last time, these stairs weren't finished. So now the stairs are finished. Um, and for you guys who, yeah, this is the first time I'm going upstairs in, like, two months. All right, check this out. So you guys see these little broccoli thingamajiggies? All right. Um, wow, there's some more. I told some, you know, obviously all my friends know I, I hate broccoli. So they were in my house and they just put up broccoli everywhere. I don't know if you guys saw it the first time. If you guys didn't see it the first time, I'm gonna show you. This is really creepy, right? So this, this little door, which can totally fit a person, it is to the attic look at that it's like a little window it's like a creepy attic it makes you feel like i'm in the movie it or something you know that's the only thing i guess i'll show you guys for upstairs because i literally haven't done anything up with uh, the upstairs and i'm probably not going to okay so the broccoli thing huh. more broccoli yay um, all right, let me show you the, I got a treadmill because I like to, it's too cold to go to the gym sometimes, so I just stay home and, and run. Um, let's see, so in my bedroom, I got a bed. Whoa. Um, what's that Amazon assistant? Alexa just talked. You know, that thing's kind of creepy. Sometimes you don't talk to it, you just start talking. So, and then this is my little workout area here and bed. And then I have like a, a little bar. So that's basically what I do in the bedroom. Um, this, this is the basement. I never open that door. I don't do it. You guys want to see? It's kind of creepy. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go down together. If something happens to me, you know exactly what happened. <sighs> okay, here we go. Look at this. Yeah, we're gonna just lock this. We're not gonna do anything with that. But it is pretty cool once it started to, once it started to snow, because, uh, check this out. It's one thing I like about living in the woods. That's my creepy barn, by the way. But I like how white everything is, you know? It's just really nice. Okay, so that's my house tour. Um, hang, on, hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Literally, my arm's about to fall off. Okay. All right. I want to tell you guys a couple of things about what's happening. And then I want to like get to some of your questions. If you have any, some comments. So 
<laughs> oh, it's so nice not to have to hold something. Um, so a couple of things for the new year. Uh, one is uh, we are we are starting a couple of new channels. We are we're doing a couple of new uh, new shows. Um, one of them we started already is called um, the Friendly Bring. So like we're trying to get into more animation, uh, like interesting sciencey stuff. So if you guys like that kind of thing, the link I think is in the description boxes. If it's not, it should be. But anyway, the the channel is called the Friendly Bring. Um, it's really cool. You should definitely check it out. Uh, the other is um, the other is. Uh, uh, what's it called? Okay, so for food, we have Strictly Dumpling, of course, which is, um, I, I want to make that, you know, obviously much, much better production value, everything, trying to get that as good as it possibly can. Um, but then, like, I wanted to start a show where I want to, like, talk to people. I don't know, kind of, like, talk to people over food. Um, or just explore kitchens or, you know, behind the scenes at restaurants. So, we started a channel and also like food channels, anything random food wise that I feel like didn't really belong on Strictly Dumpling with the vlog channel. Um, so it's called Eat with Mikey, and that channel is live right now. I think the link is in the description box as well. So uh, check that out, Eat with Mikey. I think there's a few episodes up already. Um, so those are a couple of the new things I'm uh, we're doing this year. Um, so okay, with that said. Uh, let me get to some of your questions. Sorry, I couldn't read the comments and walk and talk at the same time. Not that talented. So now, like, if you guys have any questions, comments, let's get to that. All right. This thing is scrolling really, really quick. Okay, so I'm I'm just going to try to keep up. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Ness Firth, eat Mikey. <laughs> eat Mikey. Eat with Mikey. Eat with Mikey. No, okay. Get a dog. Wizard Fawn said get a dog. I want to get a dog. My favorite dog uh, breed uh, are huskies because they're beautiful, but I hear they're not good guard dogs. So uh, probably be really fun to have one, but be kind of useless. Um, can you can barely hear me. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, let's see. You should do Alice Gao. You should do a meet and greet in Flushing, New York. I'm in Flushing all the time. If you guys hang out by like, you know, the New World Mall, I'm, I'm usually there like every other day. Um, Paul Tibbles, come explore food in Glasgow. I would love to. Where is that, by the way? Is that in the UK? I would love to. A lot of you guys are watching from the UK. Like, you guys are awesome. I didn't, I didn't know like... So many of you guys were watching from the UK. That's a place I always wanted to go to. All right, they're scrolling really, really quick, really, really quick. I'm gonna try to get to uh, as much as I can. Web Sidan, who is that behind? Who is that behind me? <laughs> Yo, you know when you guys first said that the first video, I, I actually was really freaked out because, I mean, I don't know if this house is haunted or not. I, I know the owner died. I don't know under what circumstance. So it is kind of creepy. But uh, I got my sword, so ghosts are afraid of swords, right? Holy swords, maybe? Um, let's see. Uh, Jet Chatterjee, why don't you come into India? So, okay, I'll tell you guys a little about like the next um, few destinations I'm going to. Uh, so right now it's uh, the end of the year, beginning of the year. Uh, next destination is either going to be Indonesia or Japan. So I have to work it out and see which trip, um, if it's going to be too cold in Japan, some of the places I'm going to. But definitely Indonesia and Japan are the next two places. And then um, probably the Philippines. Um, and then we'll see. But those are the next few places. Uh, Chris Roberts, you should swing by Buffalo, New York. I've been to Buffalo, New York surprising amount of times. Uh if you guys, I don't know, if, I made a video about the craziest vacation I ever had, and that was that was in Buffalo, New York. But I like your chicken wings, um, Vescu Lowell, Have you been to Cambodia? I have not been to Cambodia. How's the food in Cambodia? Let me know. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, somebody asked, "What's my PlayStation name?" I have no idea. Like, do I have one? I don't know. I, I played it like three times. Okay. Nimel Patel. India is strictly for winter. Do not go during monsoon. It's, it's horrible. I imagine. I imagine that's the place you want to go in the winter. Hey, uh, C. Blackie. Can you, hey, can you say hey to my girlfriend, Kayla Prosper? She's out snowshoeing right now. Hey, Kayla. How come you're not, like, here? 
and you're snowshoeing. I went snowshoeing once in my life in Colorado. It was the toughest thing I've ever done in my life. I mean, the snow, I mean, I thought snowshoeing, you'd be walking on top of the snow, which is not true. You're, you're like still sinking into the snow. Toughest thing. And then you see bear tracks and you're like, I think, I think this is the last time I'm doing this. Uh, Sherry Young, hey, Mike, I have a crush on you. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, James West, been to Oregon? Uh, yeah, I've been to Portland for one day. You guys have some awesome food trucks. I would love to go back because it rings a lot and I love ring. All right, all right, let's see here, let's see here. Uh, Mo Mogamad Patel, I've been watching this guy for a few weeks, only just found out he's not Jackie Chan. How do you know? How do you know? You don't know. I could be. We're his relative. <laughs> Tell him to send me money. Uh, live with Anna B. Hey, my quick question. It's been difficult for me to keep up with weekly uploads on food vlogs with regular work. Any tips for a new content creator? Uh, if you're creating, just starting out on, uh, on your channel, I get, a good, I get this question a lot. Uh, well, I think it's, it's just a matter of being persistent and consistent. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's tough being a new creator, so you might not get a lot of views in the beginning. So I guess just consistently do it and, and not give up. I think that's my best advice for you. Next in L, do you see yourself expanding your travels westward a bit into the Middle East? Yep. I'm actually planning something maybe uh, in Turkey and the UAE, maybe, um, maybe in March or April. But 100%, I, I'm always, I love, I love the food there. Um, just a matter of, of, you know, actually getting there. <laughs> uh, Bradley Perico, do you have any food spots you like in California? Like, yeah, I like 20,000 food spots over there. I think right now, I, I'm, you know, when I was over there, I was really into uh, this place. Like, I love Gim Barbecue. Like, I love that place because for 15 bucks for lunch, you get like, just an awesome Korean barbecue. But then I find out from their, um, who, was, who was their marketing person at the time, that they treat staff really badly, and especially women. They, it, was, it was a very like, misogynistic work environment. So I don't go anymore just for uh, principles purposes. But um, yeah, that used to be one of my favorite things. And uh, another place I love is uh, Shanxi Garden, which I go to every single time I'm in LA. Love that place. Um, Juan, did you do a collab with Sunnyside in Vietnam? No, I did not because Vietnam trip, it was, it was very, very, very tight. The day we got there was, uh, when, was when we filmed our first video. And we filmed our last video maybe, you know, three hours before we got on a plane. So it's, it's super, super tight. And even then, like, I mean, it was just, it was just, we still, there's still so, more, so much stuff we couldn't get done. I'll tell you guys, Vietnam was one of the greatest places I've ever been to. I mean, I legit just love that country to death. I mean, the people there are awesome. The food just beyond incredible. And like, what, what I loved the most was that, you get, you get, and you'll see this later on in, in a video I, I did. Uh, we booked like a, like they, what they said is a four star hotel. I don't know, it seemed more like a three and a half, whatever, um, but it was $30. I mean, $26 before tax. It's just the greatest country. I mean, I, I really love that country. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Uh, by the way, guys, uh, happy if you're just joining, happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just wanted to take this opportunity to say hi to everybody, chat with you guys a little bit. I know we never get to do this um, on this channel, like we never done it ever. So happy, happy new year. Hope you guys had just a fantastic holiday season. I know it's sadly coming to an end, but hopefully your 2018 is going to be awesome and filled with food and hot oil. You know, it should be. All right. Uh, Muff Devar says, when are you going to be coming out with... Uh, um, yeah, so, so, someone just texted me. Uh, with hot oil, wouldn't it be available in Canada? Okay, so the hot oil thing. I went to Taiwan to try to do a hot oil and then uh, met with a lot of issues with... Um, uh, what do you call it, with the FDA. Um, it's just because trying to bring anything into this country food related is just a really big hassle. And you have to, and they, it's, it's kind of a pain because you gotta bring in a lot and then there's always a chance it might get stopped. So it, it's, 
it's basically at this point, um, we're, on, we're actually going to try to find some people we can, um, we can work with in the States and we're already looking into that. So hopefully it will be available in the next couple of months. I know, you know, I was trying to get it ready for the Christmas season. It wasn't, um, but well, I'm trying to get it done. But thank you guys for, for keep uh, following up on that. Um, let's see. Arian 07 TJ, why not? Why not eating Indian food as you like spicy food? I love Indian food. I eat Indian food all the time. Like, I'm in Middletown. The only half-decent buffet here is an Indian buffet. I, I adore it. You guys have no idea how much I adore Indian food. I do. Like, I, I, when I was in San Jose, like, I went to a northern Indian restaurant. And the thing with Indian food is, like, every place, it's kind of like China where different um, parts you go to have completely different foods. And it was just the greatest thing, spiciest thing, greatest thing ever. So India, I'm definitely going. I cannot wait. I'm going to eat the heck out of that country. You guys might not have any food after I leave. Uh, see what else. Uh, do, 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 will the hot oil be coming to the Netherlands? My, uh, my goal is to be able to ship it anywhere in the country. So hopefully, yeah, it'll definitely go to the Netherlands and, and everywhere else in the world. Um, S SRR founder got my hoodie. Love it. Um, thank you so much for getting if you guys got if you guys got a strictly dumpling shirt or a hoodie Thank you so much for getting that I try to actually make those make the apparel not just like, you know Not just for people who like watch the show, but it's just really fun food food apparel So I mean I, I, I wear it all the time like I, I love I love I love my shirts that uh, that say I'm powered by hot oil Which I completely am and I was actually wearing one of those today, but then I got makeup all over it Yeah, I was wearing makeup. Yeah, it was it was not the greatest day Okay uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ray Leah, did you see my song I wrote for you yesterday when you were eating pho? I wrote it about pho to the tune Jingle Bells. No, I did not see that. That's actually really funny. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I don't know where it is, but um, send it to me. I would love to listen to that. Mick Fister, will you collaborate with Dan and Yi? Uh, probably not. I mean, it's. It's like I mentioned in a previous video, it's a different chapter of my life. I mean, they went on to do their own things and, you know, it's everyone's still, you know, we're fine. You know, it's just that, you know, life goes on. It's just my advice to all of you out there um, is that life will go on and people in your life will move on. And uh, for me, I, I've come to terms of it uh, with it. That's probably why I'm like alone all the time but yeah i mean life goes on just the way it is uh let's see Darren rc what is your top three favorite food well that's just impossible this is really impossible because i love i love all foods let me see if i can go somewhere where i'm less yellow uh, that doesn't really help does it okay No, 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 no. All right, this light is just really yellow. There's really nothing I can do. Okay, anyway, back to where it was. Uh, top three foods. Okay, I'm going to cheat and say hot pot for one because if you think about it, hot pot can make anybody happy. Anybody. If you have picky friends who like, you know, they, they just nitpick on everything they eat. If you have friends who are vegetarians, who eat spicy, who don't eat spicy, hot pot can make everybody happy. It has everything. It's just the greatest invention in the world. So that's why I love hot pot so much. I also love hand pulled noodles. I mean, I can, I'm from Northern China. We eat that all the time. And we just like, you know, that's something that's, that's really part of our identity. And we, we can eat that every single day. And third favorite, I don't know. I just, I cannot, I cannot even do that. Maybe pho because I just got back from Vietnam and I'm like, oh, the pho is just magical here. You know, it, it's just magical. There's no other way to say it. Uh, Sam Grind Grinder. Hi, Mikey. Are you going to do an autobiography? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I don't think enough people want to read that. Uh, but if, if I ever do one, it'd just be like, I'm Mike. I love to eat. And here's a bunch of food I like. Lucio Jimenez, I'm pooping right now. Thanks for sharing that. It's good to know. It's good to know. Um, Anna Williams, favorite crew member. <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, let's see. What else? 
Johan Guan Guan Guan. Um, Mike, when will you go to Indonesia? Well, like I said, my next destination is either Japan or Indonesia. So I'm leaning towards Indonesia because it's freezing right now. If you guys are living in New York, you'll know. Did you hear that? Oh, good Lord. Okay, okay. Uh, someone, someone's at the door. Hang on. I thought there was an earthquake. Hello. Hello. Come on in. I also wanted to use this video to kind of introduce you guys to some of the people I work with because a lot of you guys were asking like, well, who are they? You know? So let me, let me introduce you real quick. This is Wendy. Hi, Wendy does all of our animation stuff. So uh, if you ever watched the Chen Dynasty, we're doing a myths and legends series on traditional Chinese uh, myths and legends. She does all of that and she's awesome at it. You guys all, did you guys step on my West Snow? Oh, here's some slippers. This is an Asian household. We all have slippers. There you go. Have some slippers. Whose slippers are these? These are not mine. Right Jennifer. here. Jennifer. Jennifer slippers? <laughs> This is Tian Yu. She, she does uh, the Friendly Brain channel, which the link is for you guys in my description box. She's really smart and she does really cool info videos. So check her out. Uh, who else? Hi, that's Erin. She, she was the one who put makeup on me today. <laughs> um, this is Jane. She does a really cool channel called Coffee Tea and Jane. So I don't have her link in the description box, but check her out if you can speak Chinese because she's Taiwanese and she does it in Taiwanese or Mandarin. That's Ben. Hi, uh, happy new year. <laughs> ben does all the camera stuff. Uh, there's a few people who are not here. Um, you know, we have Tim who's, 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 uh, helps us edit the videos. And then we have uh, Reed who just joined our team and he helps us write a lot of the scripts for Beyond Science and such. Uh, and uh, Perry, he's on vacation, and also Jasmine is on vacation right now. Anyway, so uh, they all come. They all came because it's New Year's, and we're gonna make some hand pulled noodles later. So look out for the pictures for those. All right, let's see. Alice, go. Will you do a video on which bubble tea is the best? Is there a bubble tea that's the best? I don't know about that. I don't know if anything could be the best. I mean, they're. I love them all equally. Let's see, best bubble tea. You guys ever had a best bubble tea? I'm trying to think of the best bubble tea I ever had. It might be in Taiwan. Oh yeah, that little frog laying eggs bubble tea in Taiwan. That was all. Uh, also, what is your favorite anime? Of all time is Yo-Yo Hakusho. I love that. If you guys never seen it, you should. Recently, I love, okay. I love Food Wars, all right? I, I love that anime. I just find it excessive. If you guys, you guys know what I mean? Like, if you, if you watched it, isn't it excessive? I mean, I love all the food that's in there. I love all the competition. But does it really, I mean, the tasting part, does that really have to, you know, I just, that's the only part I don't like about it. So I love that. I'm still waiting for the second season of, uh, a one punch, one punch guy, one punch man, whatever. I love that. Also, I love this this anime called uh, uh, "Devil." The devil is a part timer. Man, that's that's like one of my favorite things. Uh, da, da, da. All right, uh, Owen Salisbury. Where did you meet your team? Uh, we all, you know, we all. It's it's not like my team specifically. It's like we kind of work together on different projects. Um, so. We just kind of met each, met each other through, uh, you know, our, our love of creating videos and, it, you know, it's just something developed and uh, we wanted to work together. So anyway, so it, it, we all kind of have similar aspirations and wanted to create like wholesome, good content full of uh, maybe culture, tradition, and just like, I don't know, bring some good family friendly entertainment to everybody. Sound is half off sync. I have no idea how I'm going to fix that. Um, Kieran Fawcett, are you, Mike? Are you ever gonna visit the UK, England? I like I, like I mentioned uh, before, I would love to. I didn't know there were so many viewers in the UK. Um, I think that's a place like 
I personally want to go to because uh, a lot of your castles are haunted and haunted castles are they interest me they also frighten me so I want to see it from the outside or if you guys want to join me we'll go in like by groups of a hundred that'll make me feel better um, Sebastian DeLara, you can make a cookbook. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a cookbook from you? I am working on a couple of ebooks right now. One of them is a cookbook called The 100 or 50, I don't know, like a number of just the greatest spicy Chinese foods ever. So it's all spicy Chinese foods. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and the second one is a tour guide. Of, of New York on um, what to see, especially what to eat, because I get this question from you guys a lot, like where should I go in New York, recommendations for New York. And uh, I can't always like type down the list because it's a long list. So I wanted to put together a ebook for you guys. Um, Carla Gutierrez, thanks to, thanks to go to Peru and discover our food. Hopefully you like their dish. I loved Peru food, Peruvian food. It's right up my alley because it's just, you know, tons of meat and potatoes. So it's it's very substantial. It's very flavorful. And Peru is just a beautiful country. Uh, Mulp Spugar Carla. <laughs> Sorry. When are you doing more uh, Patreon exclusive videos? Okay. Uh, yeah, I did. I did start Patreon. I haven't been able to do as much because I've been traveling so much. Um, but we're doing scheduled uploads, probably regular uploads starting tomorrow. Um, we're going to put some... Uh, we're going to put some, what do you call it, uh, first view early access videos up there as well. So 100% uh, those are coming. I, I, we, we, we haven't put up as many as we wanted to, but that's going to change um, in this new year. Um, Kesia Harris, Mike, are you good at cooking? Uh, I can cook and it, it'll taste good. I promise you, it'll taste good. It might not look the best because I don't know how to make things look good, but it'll taste good. Yeah. I promise you, it'll taste good. Also, um, let me just ask you guys: if if you're like if you're like if you're like with somebody and they're cooking, wouldn't sh shouldn't the other person do the dishes? I, isn't, isn't that just just a thing? Anyway, that's just it happened to me one time, and it's just, I I just felt like that's that's kind of fair, right? You cook, someone else does the dishes. Nikita P, would love to see you have a tv program on the travel channel for example or cna even you're worthy so many would watch this nice niche for you that off it's there is a niche for what you offer i promise you well thank you so much a lot of you guys don't know but uh i don't know if i can even talk about this can i talk about this i might get sued okay i'll i'll sort of talk about it i guess so i was in line to have a have a show on on the food network that was pretty much good to go and then it just fell out so anyway I, I think that's all i can say without getting myself in trouble um i i don't i don't, necess I don't know what exactly happened i just know that it was you know i was good to go for it and uh and then it was down to one person at the food network and then i wasn't so i mean it's to me, like I feel like doing TV and doing the Travel Channel Food Network, I think it'd be awesome because I I would just love to have the resources to do like you know it's just a really quality program for 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 everybody. Um, so that to me was the exciting part. But at the same time, like I I I love what I can do on YouTube and online because I can actually you know control everything that goes in the videos. I can control uh, where I go, what I say. Um, one one thing I, one issue I've always had with like the Food Network shows and, and Travel Channel shows is that like everybody loves everything they eat, which you know it can't be the case. Like in my videos, like it might seem like I like everything I eat, but usually those are places I, I tried out before. I want to introduce you guys to, or if I'm trying food, like new food. I mean, I'll tell you if it's not good. Um, but I don't I don't want to be like a like a host on TV where I just have to. Um, love everything because the owner's standing next to me. Um, anyway, so uh, you know it didn't work out, but I'm you know I'm happy where I am. If the opportunity comes again, that'd be that's fantastic. I'll definitely you know I'll definitely will love that. But at the same time, I love what I'm doing right now, creating videos for you guys. All right, what else? Therese Barnwell, Mikey Chan. My dad's surname is E. I do have a stepbrother. His name is Danny Chan. Mikey Chan, Teresa. Princess of Fiji. Uh, okay, don't really understand this. Hey, Mikey, don't give up on your dream. Therese, Princess of Fiji. 
Well, oh, oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Well, thank you so much. I, I appreciate the vote of confidence. And uh, his name is Danny Chen, Mikey Chen. Anyway, a lot of Chens out there. Uh, Darren RC, Mike, will you be visiting Malaysia anytime soon? We have a great food here. Nasi Lamak, Rati, um, Happy New Year, by the way. Well, Happy New Year to you as well. Malaysia is a place I always wanted to go to because um, I have so many Malaysian friends and they always tell me, they're like, you know what's funny about Malaysia was that when I was in Singapore, um, because Singapore, Singaporeans and Malaysians, I think that there's a feud going on and it's, it's, it's definitely a food feud, you know, like the Singaporeans are like, our food's better and, and the Malaysians are like, well, our food's better because a lot of the dishes, I think at least in name, they're, they're the same, right? But then uh, they might be a little different in the way they're prepared. So... Uh, so it's really funny, like, it depends on who you talk to, like, they'll tell you one country is better than the other in terms of food quality. So I, I've tried Singaporean food, I would love to go try Malaysian food, so uh, hopefully one day. Um, to be K, to be known, sorry, 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 thanks for um, how to make barbecue pork, we can't get enough of it, it's our first, it's our fave. So that's the uh, cha shao recipe. Man, I love that as well, you can put that thing on anything, it's fantastic. Uh, ben S. Hey ho, hey ho to you. Greetings from Germany. Been a long, been a long fan. Take care, mate. I hope one day you can come back to Germany for some food, but get some proper German food and uh, not those Asian restaurants you got dragged to. Yeah, I was in Germany. I talk about sometimes the the food regrets of uh, two thousand. I don't know, two thousand and six or something in, that happened in Germany. So I was in Germany, and I was like, I can't wait to get some German food. And then my colleagues over there took me to KFC. Like, I didn't even get to order my own wings. They just ordered a bucket. It was very sad. I was like, I was thinking back about it. It's just, it's very traumatic for me. Um, DM show, uh, just followed yesterday from Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, to all you guys who are new subscribers here. Uh, but uh, yeah, Dallas, I mean, you, you, you guys got it good in terms of barbecue. So I, I, love, I love my time. I actually spent some time in Dallas. Man, I love Texas so much. You guys got some awesome barbecue. And you got great pho. Like all the Vietnamese food, the good Vietnamese food are like in Texas. And for some reason, Minnesota. Why not New York? How come, how come there are like no Vietnamese people in New York? I don't understand that. I know it's cold, but so is Minnesota, which should be colder. Um, Bruna Rango, love your videos. I watch every single one come to Brazil. Thank you so much. Brazilian food, uh, the most, I mean, the only Brazilian food I've had was Brazilian barbecue here in the city, and I loved it so much. Uh, I can't wait to try the, you know, try it from the source, so hopefully one day I can go to Brazil. Uh, A.E. Caress, come to Dubai. Dubai is 100% and I cannot wait to go to Dubai. I'm telling you, I can, I, I'm so looking forward to Dubai. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Skylar Young, Minnesota has a lot of Southeastern Asians. I did not know that. I lived in Minnesota. I was like the only Asian in my town of, you know, 3,000 people. Um, and then I moved to another town, which was a little bigger, like 12,000 people. And I was still the only Asian. Huh, I wish I met some other Asians over there. Let's see, what else? Uh, Leo Doyle, Paris. A lot of you guys might not know. Um, that I actually went, I, I went to Paris for about a week. This is before I started doing um, food videos, so I didn't do any videos on Paris. Oh, actually, I did. All right, it was really funny. I was in Paris for a week, and I'll tell you what I loved about Paris, and I'll tell you what I didn't love about Paris. I love the culture. I love the history. I love just walking at night around the neighborhoods. Like every single house you see in Paris is a work of art. Fantastic, beautiful, beautiful city. I love um, the Palace of Versailles. It's just the most peaceful place. Um, what I didn't love was, uh, I went to, I was really craving pho one day. So I went to a Vietnamese restaurant and I kid you not, I ordered three dishes and of the night, 80 euros, 80 euros. This was back, back when euros were actually worth more 80. How, I don't know how that happened. Um, also, uh, I actually did a video. So I, this is like a really old video. I don't even know where it is. It's posted somewhere where I did a, a tasting of like, like Paris pastries. But like I was, you know, I wasn't really doing food videos uh, very, you know, focusedly at the time. And I, and I filmed it in my hotel room. 
So then people were accusing me of like being, you know, in Jersey or something in a random hotel room just filming myself and pretending I'm in Paris, which I guess that that, that is a point. There is a point to that. I should have filmed that at the restaurant. Uh, let's see. Fiji, your main man, Fiji. Uh, Fiji, absolutely. Um, Fiji, I, I would love to go um, all around there, um, actually. So once I'm done with uh, Southeast Asia, we're going to move around. It's going to be great. Uh, let's see. Uh, Martha Her. Hey, you should go to Thailand. They have really good foot, foot there. Really? I've been to Thailand, but I didn't have foot there. I had a lot of great other noodle stuff, but I didn't have foot. <clears throat> Um, lyrical, I have acne. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Christina Chapona, come to Oakland and San Jose, California. I used to live in San Jose. My only regret was there's a restaurant in, 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 uh, in Oakland I wanted to try. I didn't try it. I'm very sad. Uh, Antonio Pauletti. Hey, Mike, always watch your videos. Love your personality. Hope you have a lot of fun food adventures in 2018. All the best, bro. Thank you so much, Antonio. And, uh, yeah, thank, thanks, thanks, guys, for, for the well wishes for 2018. I'm very excited about it. Um, that's why I bought a treadmill because a lot of food's going to be eaten this year. Uh, Tian Qing Chen says, Mikey, you know, we have a very similar taste. Hey, hey, guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so like fortunate to, to, to have you guys because, uh, you know, I, I feel like a lot of you share, do similar, do share like similar taste buds as me and we love spicy, we love saucy. So, um, that's why like, um, I actually eat out with, uh, uh random people who, who email me sometimes and, and, uh, um, yeah, I, I just love hanging out and eating out with you guys because we can like go, go eat at the same places. Usually it's okay if you don't like what I like too, but, uh, um, it's cool to, uh, find like similar food taste buds buddies um jillian esquilin Esquilin. sorry hi mike from new zealand we watch all your videos thank you so much new zealand is beautiful i never been close as i've been was my australia uh but new zealand i heard is, is just glorious um i hope to open a hot pot restaurant there one day d jet 2 will you do mukbang <laughs> I don't want to do mukbang. I mean, here's what I'll do. Like the, on the e, on the e with Mikey channel, um, which is if you guys didn't hear me in the beginning, is a new channel we created. The link is in the description box. On the e with Mikey channel, like we want to do, we want to do different things, like different fun things, like small things, like uh, one thing we we did want to do, and that was, that's probably not going to be on YouTube. Is we want to start live streaming eating sessions where I it's it's called e with Mikey, you know. So I want to like have live streaming sessions where. You know, I'm kind of eating with you guys, like live, which will be really awesome. And unfortunately, I'm not able to do like uh, live videos much on YouTube because it's really hard. Like I run into a lot of tech problems. Like I don't get a lot of support from YouTube when it comes to live videos. So I'm actually uh, doing live on Twitch. Um, so hopefully, you know, uh, I think my Twitch account, I don't know, it's just twitch.com slash MikeyChinX or something like that or slash Strictly Dumpling, one of those two. I should know that, but I don't. I should though. Anyway, I'm on there. So if you guys want to uh, do the check out the live stream, majority of the time it's gonna be on Twitch. Um, let's see. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bella Bonanza. I've been watching this since your friends came in. I just realized it's a live stream. Yeah, first live stream on this channel. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's, I wish I could do live streams more on this channel, but it's, it's, it, is, it is a little harder. Amy Merritt, when are you coming to Toronto? I was in Toronto. I, I ate a lot of your awesome food places. I think Toronto, the food scene, especially Chinese food, has just like skyrocketed in recent years. And I love that. Uh, Nicholas Valadimer, Hong Kong Mike. Um, I went to Hong Kong twice. Uh, I actually want to go back again because my... Okay, so th the best buffet I had until I went to Vietnam called um, Boiling Beijing is in San Bruno. One of my favorite restaurants. Don't just get their Peking duck. All their dishes are awesome. Love that place. Uh, D. Gina. Mikey, have you ever thought of doing a Filipino vlog with Mikey Busto? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I haven't watched his videos yet, but I'll check him out. Um, I would love to go to the Philippines and... Uh, 
you know, realistically, I probably need someone to kind of show me around because I'm probably not very familiar with the food scene over there. But yeah, I would love to work with local vloggers and try to do some good videos. Uh, Christine Chung, can you list all your YouTube channels? I don't even know. I don't remember how, like half of them anymore. Like there used to be a lot I did with uh when when I was with uh, uh Dan and Ian and Off the Great Wall people. So, um, but now like. I'm mainly focused on Strictly Dumpling, obviously, um, Beyond Science, and just started with uh, eating, eat with Mikey, and also uh, the the vlog channel is is the ones I'm kind of focusing on right now. Um, Matt, Matt D. Aposo, Mikey, have you been to Dave Chang's, Dave Chang's, uh, I think you mean, Momofuku? I have not. I heard a lot of good things. I also heard a lot of, like, eh. So I didn't get to go yet, but it's definitely a place I, I, I would like to try because that guy did uh, recommend, um, I forgot the name, but the, but the ramen restaurant in Tokyo, which I love. Um, John T. Mike, say hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, all right, I think we're going to do this for about uh, five more minutes, five to ten more minutes, and then, and then we'll cap it off because I want to, you know, I don't want to like bore you guys too much. Uh, Mr. Anime Man, I'm one of your first subscribers. I'm still active. Wow, hey, thanks so much for, for, for the support. Like in the beginning, it was just like, you know, let's make some YouTube videos. Maybe people will watch and it was just awesome. So thank you guys so much for all your support over the years, especially, you know, you guys with being in the beginning. I, I'm glad you still find it interesting. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Viv... Vivlid Sun, you have to you have to Norwegian food once, man. Uh, the smoked salmon uh, dumpling filled with bacon served with more meat. I I never had Norwegian food. I've had Nordic food, which um, I went to a I went to a Nordic buffet, like like a ooh, um, Swedish buffet. It was one of my favorite things, and that's where I had reindeer. And I was really conflicted because it was during Christmas time. Like how might how could I eat reindeer during Christmas? I just like sounds so 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 evil, but I did. I feel bad. Hang on, my phone's about to die. Let's see. Be right back. All right, sorry about that, sorry about that. Oh, my phone is like like 5% left. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Tate Huang, what is the best airline to go to in Asia? My favorite airline, Asian airline, is a tie between Singapore Airlines and ANA. They're both like just beautiful. But if you have a chance to fly business class, Singapore Airlines just beats everybody like completely is no comparison singapore airlines business class seats are just the most insane thing ever but just airlines in general singapore and and a are just like so so great uh let's see zika mel what are your plans for your next videos well um the vietnam series we filmed nine videos in vietnam so that is being uploaded um and then after that we did a, uh, <laughs> this is really cool. So uh, there's actually been a, been a, like a lot of new Peking duck places here in New York. So we're doing a Peking duck tour. Um, and it's great because there's one place that just opened. It's like a Michelin star Peking duck place that the reviews are just slamming. So I want to go try it out and see if, see if it's good or not. So I contacted them and they said no. Uh, so I guess I have to, I don't know. They're booked. So I don't know how to get in there. Um, but we're going to do a Peking duck tour. Um, so that's really exciting for New York. And then, like I mentioned before, uh, Indonesia, where Japan is next. And I can't wait for that. Let's see. What else? Gina Snow, do you like Chinese broccoli? So, unlike my hatred of Western bro bro broccoli, I actually love Chinese broccoli. 
I love it. I, th I think it's delicious, a little bitter. I, I just, I don't know, like broccoli? I know you guys, a lot of you guys love broccoli, and hey, you know what? More power to you. I heard it's really nutritious, and you know, looks like a tree, so you feel like you're eating like a tree, and you, you can pretend you're a giant, which is great. Um, but I just don't like the taste of it. It just tastes, I don't know, it just tastes weird to me. I just can't, I used to love it, and I think I still will, like, you know, just doused in cheddar, and you know, like in the school lunches in, in the US, like cheddar, broccoli, that's still great. But in general, I'm not really into just broccoli. Um, Valerie Hernandez, you wouldn't answer me. Come to Idaho, Idaho Falls. I don't know what that is exactly, but hey, let me uh, let me see if there's anything good to eat there. Uh, Moto Quan, where is your dream food destination? Um, I think my obviously my my dream food destination. If I could go anywhere in the world right now. I would go back to my hometown in China, Xi'an, which is like the ancient capital of China. And like, I have so many fond memories of that place. Um, I love it so much. There's so many good, so much good food there. And I hope to go there one day. And if you guys watch my vlog, you'll know the reason I can't go back to China right now is because I practice a meditation exercise called Falun Gong. And it's something that, you know, I started doing in college uh, when I was really stressed in school and I had a lot of personal problems and uh, I was really kind of in a dark place. And then my, my parents kind of introduced it to me because uh, um, they found it really helped them, especially health-wise. And actually, my dad, he used to be, it's a little personal information, but I, I, I talked about this in my other video, but my, my dad used to be really kind of just mean, and he used to, you know, be pretty violent uh, physically and verbally. And I saw him just kind of do a 180 after he started, you know, practicing this meditation exercise. He was actually nice, and that really surprised me, so... Uh, because of all, all those things, I decided to practice it, do some meditation, and the philosophies it's based on is truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. So ever since then, I, I try to be a more compassionate person, a more tolerant person, a uh, more honest person. And then so, uh, anyway, so I found it really benefited me. And then because China actually has a, started a crackdown on it back in 90, 99, um, anybody who practices it in China it could be arrested and, and you know sent to prison, even if, even if you're an American citizen. Um, and there's a lot of rumors spread about it, a lot of you know false information spread about it. So um, that's the reason I can't go back. But if I could go anywhere right now, I would definitely go there because I I really miss it so much. Um, and if you guys want to know more about it, just go to you know FallenDafa.org or you know Google China organ harvesting. You'll find a lot more information on it. It's kind of crazy what's happening over there. They're actually harvesting the people's practitioners' organs. Um, it's, it's just insane. But yes, that's why. Um, when Yi Li, Mike, will you ever consider becoming a vegetarian? <laughs> uh, okay, I should seriously answer that. Um, I, I think that'd be very difficult for me. I think it'd be really difficult for me. I mean. Let me ask you guys, let me ask you guys, scenario time. Let's say you met the perfect person, like just perfect in every single way. You're a girl, you met, a, you, you met like, you're a girl or a guy, you met, you're just, you're perfect, perfect mate, okay? Everything you ever wanted. And they said to you, um, you need to become a vegetarian. Let's say you, you, you at the time were not a vegetarian. What would you do? I, I don't say, I, I think about that because people have uh, uh, proposed that scenario to me before. They're like, what if you, what if you just met your like soulmate and they're like, you, ha you cannot be with me unless you're, you're a vegetarian. What would you do? I mean, for me, I'm like, well, if they're my soulmate, why are they forcing me to be a vegetarian? And they know me so well. So, but if I had to choose, I, I don't I don't know if I could do it because I, first of all, I wouldn't be honest in that relationship. I'd be miserable because every time we eat, I, I'd be thinking about something else. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't think, but let me know what you guys would do. Uh, <laughs> M says, I would say yes, then sneak to KFC behind her back. You cannot do that. You gotta have an honest relationship, okay? Because you know she's gonna smell chicken on your breath and it's all over. It's just the way it is. Um... Hawaiian Punch, I dumped them. They are my soul. That's what I'm thinking. Tate Huang, Mike tried to speak in Cantonese. Yo mo gao to. That's the only thing I can do. That's it. That's all I can do. Uh, let's see, what else? Alisa Chua, 
when are you going to visit the Philippines? So right now is Indonesia, Japan. I want to go back to Japan because I, I have so many places I haven't been yet. I want to go back. Uh, Philippines is going to be after Indonesia, Japan. So I definitely want to go to, go to Philippines. Um, so guys, I, I really don't know where to go in a lot of countries. So, you know, when I go, I'll definitely ask you guys for some advice on where to go. James Mo, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, man, I don't know. I mean, according to some of, some of, um, I, I, I get, I get like messages from doctors who watch the show. At least I, I think they're doctors. I don't know. I didn't check their credentials and they're like, man, you're about to die. I think you're like, and they tell me stuff like, yeah, I think you need to go see like, uh, see this specialist or that's, and it, it, I don't know. So in five years, if I'm still alive, I hope to be, I hope to be creating, I don't know, I just want, I want to create like, there's, there's shows I want to create. You know, I want to do a show called The Best Butt Face in the World where I just go around to the best butt face in the world. I want to, I want to open my own restaurants, you know? If all goes well, I have, I'll have my like first hot pot restaurant maybe open this year. Um, I, I just, I want to, because I, you know, you know how frustrating it is sometimes you like, you're like, you're, you're like, you know what you like to eat and you know what, well, it tastes good, but but there's really no place to get it from. You know what I'm saying? So I really just want to create like my own restaurant where I, there's food that I love, that I know a lot of other people would love, and and I was just want to open it in places that that's underserved. You know, like there's probably not a good hot pot restaurant in I don't know Belgium or something. I and I want to I want to be able to open one there and just spread like the love of food around the world. You know, that that's to be my most exciting thing I could do. So hopefully that will. That will be uh, that will be what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> Walter Varad, new Netflix series, buffet tours around the world with Mikey Chan. I I think hey, you guys love buffets. I love buffets, so I I think that'd be an awesome thing for me. Carlos Bentacor, I live in Austin. Me and my fiance sat right next to you when you were filming the Suka, uh, Su Su Kamen, uh video in Taishoken in Japan. We searched it months later, found the video, I've been watching ever since. Well, thank you so much. Hope I didn't disturb you guys when I'm filming. That's one thing I try to do. Like a lot of people are like, when you're flying like business class or uh, when you're in restaurants, don't you disturb people? I try not, I really try not to. So I, I, I usually have a microphone um, that I don't have to speak so loud to to record everything. And on planes, I'm, I'm literally whispering, like I'm just whispering. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, it's not like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm better than anybody else. I can just talk as loud as I, I want. I, I know I don't want to disturb other people when they're having a nice meal. So I try to be as, as quiet and still as passionate as I, as I can be. Uh, MKX combos. What kind of music do you listen to? I like country. Not a lot of Asians like country music. I love country music. I think it's like, I, it's just so soothing for me. Garth Brooks, one of my favorite. Um, but it's, you know, it's my favorite genre of music. I, I used to love, uh, I used to love Taylor Swift when, back when she was singing country. So now she's kind of, she sounds so good. But the latest one's kind of weird. Lee Shonique, hey Mike, hey Mikey, it's Ruben. I'm making your balls right now. I'm also about to make your hot way on a few hours. A few weeks ago, you sent me a birthday video from Vietnam. Once again, thanks for that. Hey, no problem. Uh, a lot of you guys have recently been asking me to uh, record a, birthday video for your loved ones um and then, yeah i would definitely love to do that for you so um so glad you enjoyed the video thanks so much ruben and hopefully you like the balls because balls is like one of the best things ever um let's see the charles 777 hey mike if you could look back on 2017 what did you love most also love your stuff man gets me hungry and anxious to get my own meal thank you so much um, what did I love the most? I loved my Japan trip, I think, the most. I just so incredible going over there. And uh, I think my favorite countries, and this is just, and it's not like I don't love anything anything else, like, you know, at all. I just love these the most. I loved going to Japan. I loved going to Vietnam, and I loved going to Singapore. It was just probably the three destinations I, I loved the most. Not that I loved anything else, like, way less. They're all up there. But those three places, I just, oh, so incredible. Um, X, re me killer. Do you regret anything from 2018? Uh, you probably mean 2017. Yep, 2017. Do I regret anything? Uh, I regret not eating um, 
as much food in Japan. I also regret not taking the, and this wasn't available at the time, but I found this out later, but there was a, a pepper crab eating challenge, which I would love to have taken part of because come on, I, I, I would kill that thing. It was just like, I mean, it wasn't even that much crabs. I mean, I could have got it for free. Like just think about that all the time. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna just a couple more minutes and I'm going to log off. But Jamie Rollins would love for you to come to Alabama. We don't have any real Asian food here and would love to learn from the source. We'll trace some Mexican recipes for it. Um, hey, you know what? I mean, I, I don't know what you guys um, specialize a lot in uh, in, uh, in Alabama, probably comfort food, but I, I would love some of that. I mean, I, I would love to go to every single state and, and try your specialties. Bob, Bob, Naples has the best pizza. Please come when you are done visiting Asian countries, visit European countries, or more specifically Mediterranean countries. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, Italy, Greece are two of my top locations in Europe, 100%. Um, Grady Gillis, tomorrow, the final item from your recommendations for spices and sauces. Oh, do love it. Awesome, man. Already used a third of them, have recently tried about half the rest of them. Great, great additions. Hey, yeah, try different sauces and, and spices from different cultures. It, it's just the greatest thing. I mean, it's just, you know, new flavors you never thought was, was there. John T. Oh, come on, Taiwan. I, Hey, I'm telling you, there's no location I, you know, I, I, I hated it or, or disliked. I, I loved all of them. But if I had to pick, I mean, I love Taiwan too. That's why I've been back like three times. Uh, let's see what else. A couple, just a couple more. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh. Boom, boom. Uh, you could do a whole series on Lost in Philly. Philly, Philly is where it's where I spent one of my birthdays, and I have a special place in my heart for Philly because my first taste of real, real Philly cheesesteak, I can still taste it right now. Man, I, I love that. I think that's like one of the one of the greatest greatest things I've ever eaten. Um, Rose Taylor, can you cook something for us live? Um, yeah, go on, uh, like I said, go on uh, Twitch. I'm going to be cooking live, eating live all over there. So check out my channel over there. Um, Nat's niece, did you answer my question? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, guys. If I didn't get to your question or your comments, um, it's just scrolling so fast right now. So I'm trying to get to as many as I can. Um, and whatever I see, I just kind of answer. Um, so here, Kiana Lee, where did you visit in Vietnam? I only stayed in, uh, two, I only went to two places. Oh, three places. Sorry. I went to the Mekong Delta and I went to uh, Saigon. Both places are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see all the videos, um, from Vietnam. The third place I can't even pronounce <laughs> it was, uh, we went to one of our team members home, grandparents' home, just had the most fantastic home meal. Uh, let's see. Okay, so just one more question. Cheap, cheap, when will you make a next unboxing video? Guys, I I'm so sorry. Like, I've been traveling so much and uh, it's been so crazy. I do have some boxes um, that's not open. So um, that's actually something we're going to film this week and probably get that out uh, maybe next week. So definitely, uh, I really appreciate you guys sending stuff to P.O. Box and just haven't got to it yet. I'm really, really sorry about that. But um, it's something we will get to definitely. Um, all right. So that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this live video. Um, and, uh, I really wanted to do that mention in the beginning to wish everybody a happy new year and to thank you all so much for watching over the years. And, uh, just want to wish you guys just like all the best in 2018. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I, I you guys have no idea how much I appreciate um, each and every one of you watching it and hopefully, you know, um, hopefully the videos are, you know, I want to make the videos as good as they can and, you know, just always try to be better. So it's not as to, you know, just feeling like taking things for granted, but it's just really trying to, um, do things that are better. So if you guys have any, you know, any feedback, you want me to, any places you want me to visit, you know, uh, I'll tr I try to actually read all the comments in the videos and try to respond to as many as I can. I don't get to all of them because we do get like thousands of comments every single day um but I really do and also like i know some of you messaged me on facebook and also on youtube and instagram and twitter it's just really hard to get to all the messages as well but we do try to get to uh, i do try to get to as many as i can so um thank you so much um happy happy 2018 what is this year what is this year 
Not the monkey, right? Last year was the monkey. Dog. It's dog? Yeah. Yeah? So happy upcoming year of the dog. So I think it's still monkey year, right? Yeah, it's still. Is it? Is it? Is it still monkey year? Okay, yeah, still the year of the monkey, but year of the dog is coming up. So happy year of the dog. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hey, guys. I'll see you later, okay? Goodbye.